Hey everybody, I wanted to present to you a real quick tutorial on how to do some word problems this week. So that's what we're going to be working on in fourth grade is the word problems. So I thought I'd go through one together to kind of give you an idea of how we need to go about solving these word problems. Okay, so here's our word problem. Liz is training for a swim meet. Her goal is to swim 100 laps. She swam 12 laps in the pool on each of the three days. It says write and solve an equation to find out how many more laps needs to swim to reach your goal. Okay, so here we go. I'll show you how to do this. We know Liz has a goal of 100 laps. Whoops. Sorry about that. My paper slid on me. So we know she has 100 laps she needs to swim. Okay, so we're going to draw a box. This is hard to do this in one handed here. Um, to, to find out what we need to figure out to get to 100, because that's her goal. Okay, we know on the first day she swam 12 laps. The second day she swam 12 laps. The third day she swam 12 laps. And then we have to figure out how many laps does she need to swim to get to 100. Okay, you can do this a couple of different ways. You can take 12 times 3, or else you can add up 12 3 times. When I add up 12 3 times, that gives me 36. So we know 36 plus some number equals 100. Well, when we don't know what the number is right here, we kind of have to do the opposite. So we know we need to subtract. So it would be 100, I'm sorry, minus 36. That would be 64. Okay, so 64. So let's plug in 64 here and see if 12 plus 12 plus 12 equals plus 64 equals 100. Well, we know our three 12s are 36, so we'll add 36 plus 64, and that is 100. So we know the answer to the question is, is write and solve an equation of how many more laps Liz needs to swim to reach her goal, and we know our answer is 64. Great job.